you know, we gave him everything. He's, he just, he's done that for, for five years here. You know, and that's, uh, um, he's a special player. that will go down in Berwyn history as one of the, the really tough competitive guys that, that, that had an opportunity to do in a long time. Okay. It's easy to second guess, but the last defensive series, it looked like you were only rushing three. Mm -hmm. uh, was that just confident you just keep them in front of you? Or was that's what, that, was the, that was what the plan was, but obviously we didn't come out of the right time. But. Can you talk about the back and forth of the game and the intensity of it and your, and your yeah, players? Yeah, it was, it was, as I said earlier, it was a heck of a football game. You know, I get, give them credit. That's a good football team. Um, and we knew coming in that this was going to be a bad. You know, we, we, you know, you watch them on the phone and you watch how hard they play. And, we felt like it was going to be a back and forth game. So and we felt like when we scored there, you know, with less than a minute, hopefully we didn't have to, I mean, everyone gets out. Um, with, in the win, you know, to kick that kick like he did, there was another kick right ahead of the game. What, uh, what was Zach just decided not to play? Or? No, Zach warmed up and then just wasn't 100%. So we're not going to put him in a situation where he's not 100%. He warmed up? I didn't see He warmed up. Okay. Did you uh, post game like there was some chippiness? Was there just the emotions getting high? Or I, I was trying to find Coach Marduzzi to congratulate him on the game, so I couldn't comment on any of that, but I didn't see that. Did you find him? Yeah. Coach, that uh, third quarter pick kind of surged. It came back from the 14 point lead. Was there any halftime adjustment? Anything specific you could point to that maybe they changed up that caught you off guard? No, I think the win was the biggest factor. You know, going there, there was a different different environment from the first half to the second half. You know, that's why they I think they elected to kick with it. In the uh, when they kicked off at the beginning of the second half because of how, how much the wind was blowing in Gustin. So, you know, I think you had to adjust your passing game. You're not going to be able to push the ball down the field um, into that type of wind. So, you know, obviously you saw what it did to kickoffs. Um, they would have done the same thing in the passing game. So you didn't have a chance to throw the ball and take big shots. You know, so it became a little bit more of a short and immediate passing game. Dorian obviously had three interceptions. A couple of them were off guys. But, yeah. um, Maybe one of them or two of them are a little too hard, a little too high off the guys. Or um, I mean, does he have a little bit of culpability in some of those, or not really? I have to, you know, I watch your film and do that. I know two of them went out to our own players' hands. So, um, like the wideout coach will say, we got to catch it. The quarterback coach will say, we got to put it somewhere else. So, um, that's football. Football sometimes the ball bounces funny ways, and you got to make adjustments. So, how do you kind of encapsulate the season? I mean, nine wins is good, but it lose three out of your last four. I didn't really think of that bad until you mentioned it. So, you know, concerned with the players in that locker room and how they feel, especially the, the guys that are coming back, you know, because um, they've done an unbelievable job. So I don't think this final game is, can diminish the impact that those guys had. And that's you know, kind of what my thoughts are right now. What was your message to them post game? Just when I said that don't diminish, this doesn't diminish what they've done, you know, the, the Moe's and the Blaze and Dorian. And the guys we had at the Bulldogs and guys like that, that you know, have been around for a long time and have laid a great foundation for this football program. They scored 20 straight points there. Were you pretty impressed with how your team stopped bleeding on what looked like a game winning drive? Yeah, I was impressed with how our guys responded. We talked to them about that all the time when we got the ball back there and the fourth down stop, you know, to be able to get on the field with no timeouts and, and uh, put ourselves in a, in a situation to get out, you know, to score. You know, when they kick the extra point to go up one. Um, really impressed with how those guys responded to, you know, what was a back and forth football game. Pitt played with a backup quarterback today. Just your thoughts on his performance? Yeah, I thought he played real. I thought he did some really nice things. Kept plays alive with his feet. That was really accurate in terms of how he threw the football ball. I was impressed with him. I hadn't seen much of him on tape, you know, because obviously they had played um, Keaton, you know, for the for most of the season. But I, I was impressed with what I saw from him today. Did you talk to Coach after the game? Coach Arduzzi, yeah. What did you tell him? What you guys say? Congratulations on the good game. I've known Pat for a long time, so. Is one of the closest games you've been a part of? No, I've been a lot of Crunch games. Any more questions for Coach? If not, we're going to present uh, number 57, uh, John Gaines. Got a question for him. Coach, you can stay or you can leave. It's totally up to you. John, that obviously was a wild emotional finish. What was it like? I mean, it looks like you're going to lose, and it looks like you're going to win, and then, you know, obviously it ended how it did. What was that like to go through? Uh, I mean, I think the biggest thing is within the game, trying to stay focused on one job at a time, one play at a time. Uh, can't get too caught up with emotion at any point in time. So, you know, 
obviously from the outside looking in, it's a whirlwind of emotions, but really you gotta focus on one play at a time. So we're just trying to stay grounded, be where our feet were, and handle one thing at a time. When uh, TJ ran that in, you guys looked in good shape. What did that feel like at that at that moment? Oh, I mean, the biggest thing is TJ is a great player, and being able to see TJ really go out there and make a really big play at a really critical time is crazy because you know watching a young guy work like that every single day and get his opportunity it was great to see him ride in that moment. So we were just really confident and happy with what he did, and proud of him because we knew we could trust him with the ball in his hands. And how hard was it for you to see Dorian go out? I know obviously you guys are super close. Yeah, I mean that's that's my boy. So it sucked to see him go down, but I mean. Ethan stepped in and really played a great role, and he carried us as far as he could. Any more questions? What was going on post game with the pit players? Was there anything? Oh, I wasn't even by it. I was hugging my teammates, showing them love. Are you coming back next year? Uh, I got some time to think, so I'll have more information. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.